Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time, y'all. Let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda, Israel Ultimate's Pastor Derek, on the early what I see the school study and prayer line on the 15th day in August 2024. We're back at it for some more. Hallelujah. <clears throat> well, we back at it like a fanatic. Think part five. P5, y'all. Um, thank the most high for Yos Elder Yosef holding down the conference line. Hallelujah. We got Chantel in the building. Thank the most high for her. Got my mom in here, prayer warrior. Hallelujah. Got Randall in the building. Hallelujah. And Cole Robinson. <laughs> As y'all chime in to Facebook, feel feel free to push the share button. Sharing your platforms with Two for the Word. Uh, thank you, everybody in advance. We got a tag game going, inviting people to come on in. Hallelujah. Thank the most high for Demina. <clears throat> Let's put, put up a cheer. We in here. I'm, I'm going I'm 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 to show y'all something. Let's just think. Part, part five. We got to be mindful. With how we think. Because your soul will be won or lost based on how you think. That's it. You with me, Don Deans? Your soul will be won or lost based on how you think. <clears throat> so look at this. Let, let, let me show y'all this. Let me show y'all that. Go to, go to Mark 4. We're going to skim through this. I just want to show y'all. I want y'all to see something. I'm reading a little bit of this. <clears throat> Look what this say. And again, he began to teach by the seaside. And there was gathered on him a great multitude, so that he entered to a ship and sat on the sea. And the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. And he taught them many things by parables. And said unto them in his doctrine. Right? So, again, we establish Don deems that he's, he's teaching in parables. You see that clearly, right? And so, we skip down to the ninth verse, and it says, And he said unto them, He that have ears to hear, let him hear. I keep telling y'all how deep that is. Because that establishes a certain state of mind, how you think. If, if you're thinking right towards the most high, that's the ear. You're listening with the right state of mind. And then he commanded that you have the ability to hear. And when he was alone, <clears throat> they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. And he said unto them, unto you that is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of Yah, but unto them that are, are without, all these things are done in parables. You see, those that are without, without what? He said, it's given unto you to know the mystery of the kingdom, but unto them that are without, without what, y'all? All these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive. Whoever don't have whatever he was talking about, he said, those that are without, they're going to be able to see, but not perceive. They're looking. They're right there. They're looking, but they're not going to be able to perceive. They're hearing. They, their ears work perfectly in the natural, but not in the spirit. <clears throat> and hearing they may hear and not understand. At least at any time they should be converted, changed. Their thinking changed. And their sins should be forgiven them. <clears throat> Did y'all hear that? 
Let's reiterate this one more time. Let's go to Matthew 13. I'm going to show y'all something. I want to show y'all this. Matthew 13. Same situation. Just from Matthew's point of view. We just read Mark's account of what happened. This is Matayahu's account. Are y'all with me? Let's read it, mother. You with, you with me, mom? Okay, look. <clears throat> look what it says. The same day went Yahushua out of, out of the house and sat by the seaside. And a great multitude was gathered unto him. So they, he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, the sword with the soul. Oh, y'all with me? You see, he's speaking, teaching in, in parables. Y'all see that? <clears throat> Stay with me. <clears throat> Let's slide down to nine again. Look what he said. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. They came with the right state of mind. They're listening to do. They're listening to learn. You with me, G-Man? Matthew 13 and 9. And the, and the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. Did y'all hear that? It's not given. What what is it about them that he's not giving? They're there listening, but he said, No. I'm not giving it to them. <clears throat> what is the determining factor for the most high to say it, you can know, but they can't, even though both or all is in attendance. You got this attendance of people that came to hear him teach and speak, but he's only talking to certain ones. <clears throat> is y'all listening? He's only talking to certain ones. Put a one, we just begun, you know. He's only talking to some, certain ones. You see that? Twelve verse says, For whosoever hath, to him shall be given. That's what I was showing y'all in Mark. He said, um, To them that are without, it's not given. Twelve verse here says, Whosoever hath, Mark honed in on the fact that he said those that are without, it is not given. Right here, Matthew's honed in on those that have, it shall be given. And he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not now, now he joined Mark in the, whoever these individuals is that don't have something, he's not talking to them. Can y'all see that? You got to bring something to the table. What is it that you got to bring to the table? It's all in how you think. Is y'all listening? And whosoever hath to him sh shall be given. It's, it's given on to them to know the mystery of the kingdom, Banks. Because they brought that it to the table. They brought something to the table that enabled them to be positioned to the point that the most high is going to reveal himself to them. It gets so deep. Watch this. <clears throat> Twelve first. For whosoever have to him shall be given and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not from him shall be taken away even that he have. There could there something could happen to where as you used to have that ingredient in order for him to add to you spiritually and you'll continue to grow. But you can show up one day without it. 
And not only will you not continue to grow, but what you had, he going to take it from. What you had, he going to take it from you. Did y'all see that? I'm going to read 12 again. And whosoever hath, to him shall be given. And he shall have more. That means he had something when he came. But now they're going to have more abundance. But whosoever have not, whatever that ingredient they didn't have, they didn't. They came and they didn't have it. They came before him, they didn't have it. From him shall be taken away, even that he hath. So both parties showed up with something that they received from Yah. One had the right state of mind, and he was added to. And, the set, and another one that had two from Yah came with the wrong state of mind, and even that he had was taken. Can y'all see that? If you do, put the two. Can you see that? <clears throat> mm -hmm. That's when, in 13, <clears throat> he went on to say, Therefore speak I, to them in parables. He said, so I'm speaking in a way that they're listening to me, but they don't understand what I'm saying. He did it on purpose. Can y'all see that? He did it on purpose. If you look at how many people has chimed in so far, the crowd is thinning because the Most High is rejecting certain people from this ministry. Yeah. That's Yah's business. 13th verse. <clears throat> Therefore, I speak to them in parables. He did it on purpose. Because they seeing, see not. They're here, but they don't really see Yah. They don't know him. And hearing, they hear not. They, they're listening. They listen to the word go forth right now. But they don't hear. Because they're not going to adhere. They're not going to do it. And they're not going to do it because their heart not right. And he's not talking to them. And hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. <clears throat> Are y'all with me? So, you saw Mark 4. You saw Matthew 13. Let's go to John 8. I want to show y'all another perspective. So John 8, stay with me. Think P5. Look. John 8 and 12. Look what it say. Then spake Yahushua again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I was trying to show y'all that the light is the word when we was dealing with John 1, the light is the word and the light is the, the life. It's the light and it's the life. Parabolistic language. He speaks in parables. <clears throat> Are y'all with me? Right. He spake again unto them saying, I am the light of the world. The word is the light of the world. Whoever don't have the word walks in darkness. They're sinful. And they don't understand the creator either. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me, you got to follow the word. Right? Shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Are y'all listening? Religious folks. 13th verb. The Pharisees therefore said unto him, <clears throat> Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. So there's a certain state of mind. This think part five, y'all. How the Pharisees think they had a problem with what he said. That's what carnal minds do against the word. They got a problem with it. Pharisees therefore said unto him, <clears throat> Thou bearest record of thyself, thy record is not true. So they're discrediting him for speaking the words of Yah. That's about right. Carnal people 
disagree with the vessel that the Most High used when they're speaking his word because his word cut them. And they get offended. So they attack the Messiah. Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. <clears throat> I know they some, you know, you ain't got the monopoly on God. We got God too. That was their attitude with dealing with the Messiah. Boy, were they wrong. 14 first, look what it said. And Yahushua answered his head unto them. <clears throat> Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came and whether I go. But you cannot tell whence I come or whether I go. You judge after the flesh. I judge no man. See, they looking at him according to the flesh. He's just a man. Okay. He say, you judge after the flesh. I judge no man. He said, I don't judge no man as a man. The Messiah definitely judged, but not as a man. Are y'all with me? 60 verse says, and yet if I judge, my judgment is true. He said, but if I did judge, it'd be the truth. For I'm not alone, but I and the father that sent me. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one to bear witness of myself and my father that sent me bear witness of me. Are y'all listening? 19 verse. Look what it says. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father? And who should answer, you, know, you neither know me nor my father. If you had known me, you should have known my father also. Deep. 20. These <clears throat> words spake Yahushua in the treasury as he taught in the temple. And no man laid hands on him for his hour was not yet come. I see you, nephew, uh, Jamie and Johnson, in the building. We're in uh, John 8 and 21. I'm glad you pulled up a chair because we're in here. 21, look what it says. <clears throat> then said Yahushua unto them, I go my way, and you shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whether I go, you cannot come. He, he has a consistent... He has a consistent way of teaching that's inviting some and dispelling others. You see that, Bree? He's inviting some. Why? Because the way a person thinks, how they move. Right? Look what he said in the 21st verse. <clears throat> then said Yahushua unto them, I go my way and you shall seek me and you shall die in your sin. When they say, seek me, who is he talking about? He's talking about the most high. Folks is seeking to have a relationship with the most high. He said, no. Mm -mm. You ain't going to find him. That's deep, y'all. Then Yahushua, this said Yahushua unto them, I go my way and you shall seek me. And you shall die in your sins. Whether I go, he said, you cannot come. This said, the Jews, will he kill himself? Because he said, where I go, you cannot come. And he said unto them, you are from beneath, I am from above. You are this world, I am not in this world. I said therefore unto you that you shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sins. You looking for the most high and you talking to him. You looking for the most high? What, you going to go around his word to find him? You looking for the most high? Well, the word is here. You don't like the word, huh? You definitely don't like somebody to speak the word because you respond against them as if they are a regular man like they did to the Messiah. Is y'all listening? Because you don't like what the man is saying. Some people agree when they like what the man is saying. But as soon as the man starts speaking stuff that cut them, that go against how they're living and what they're doing, then they change. And they end up like <clears throat> Matthew's the 13th chapter. They didn't come with the necessary ingredient. There is an ingredient that you must come with to be in the presence of the Most High. 
for him to minister to you and explain the mysteries of the kingdom. When you come with the wrong attitude before the Most High, you get rejected. Yeah, you got to come with the right attitude before a king or you end up getting rejected. Everyone that was saved by the Most High came with the right attitude, the state of mind necessary for him to take them through the transformation process, deliver them from themselves and take them through, through the mind renewal process. Because <clears throat> when it's because when he's finished with them, they'll be able to prove what's good, acceptable, and his perfect will. Folks will watch you be transformed, but you came to him with the right state of mind, though. Nobody got changed that came with the wrong state of mind. I, I literally saw people that that's into divination and witchcraft come to the ministry. And I saw them almost change. And then I see the divination, the spirit of divination just still engulf them. <clears throat> Whose fault is it? It's theirs. Because you gotta you gotta achieve a certain state of mind. There, there's people engulfed in sin, like all of us. We started off all, all every last one of us started off sinners. And and where we are now was based on how we think. The state of mind that we brought to the table when dealing with the master. If it's true, put it to. <clears throat> you see, some people grow. And then you look at other people and wonder why they're not growing. Because the state of mind they bring to the table when they come. He only bless a certain state of mind. Are you with me, Latricia Johnson? Stay with me, nephew. <clears throat> Listen. So the 24th verse says, I said therefore unto you that you should die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am he, you should die in your sins. Now watch this. Let me give you another nugget right quick. He's talking to the religious crowd. That's who we're talking to. He's talking to people that claim they already have him. He's letting them know you don't. You know how offensive that is? To tell someone that they be, that believe they have them? <clears throat> He's saying you don't? Well, them fighting words. <clears throat> Are y'all listening? Them fighting words. Them like, what you say? Well, who you think you is? And that's why they say you bear witness of yourself. They talk to him as a man. You bear witness of yourself. Are y'all with me? I see you in here, Woods. You bear witness of yourself. Your, 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 your testimony ain't true. Because that word was whooping them. Because <clears throat> they refused to bow down and repent. Mm -hmm. 25th verse. <clears throat> then said they unto him, Who art thou? See, they, they upset. And you should sit on them. Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. He said, I ain't changed. I didn't switch up. I'm still me. You don't like me no more? I understand. 26 verse. <clears throat> I have many things to say and to judge of you. Uh-huh. But he that sent me is true. And I speak the I speak to the world those things which I've heard of him. He's letting them know the things that I'm saying to you, though it's cutting you, it's not coming from me. You listening, Bree? It's not coming from me. It's coming from the Most High. That's what he's telling them. So you think you offended with me? You're not. You're offended with the Most High. Are y'all listening? They understood not that he spake to them of the Father. See? <clears throat> He talking to them, having a conversation with them, toe to toe too. But he knew they didn't understand what he was saying. Because it wasn't given to them to understand what he was saying. It's only given to those that have a certain state of mind. Is y'all listening? This said, Yahushua unto them, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall you know that I am he. And that I do nothing to myself, 
But as my father has taught me, I speak these things. So the same religious people that, that condemned him to death didn't understand the word when he was speaking, but they understood that he was who he said he was after they hung him on the tree. The earthquake happened and everything went dark. And the veil in the temple was ripped from top to bottom. And they said, this was the son of Yah, the body that the word of Yah lived in. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. This is him. And without controversy, great is the mystery of Yahliness. Yah was manifested in the flesh. This was him. Yeah, they figured it out then. That don't give you salvation to figure that out. What gives you salvation is your willingness to obey the word. And everyone that belonged to him, he said, my sheep hear my voice. My sheep hear my voice. And a stranger, they're not going to find them. No. Y'all listen? <laughs> Look what the 29th verse teaches us. <clears throat> and he that sent me is with me. The father hath not left me alone. For I do always those things that please him. Is y'all This is a kicker right here in 30. And as he spake these words, many believed on him. Did y'all hear that? I just told y'all and showed y'all moments ago, who was he talking to? He was talking to the Jews, Judah. He was talking to Judah. How was he talking to Judah? Pretty rough. Pretty rough, wasn't he? If that's true, put the two. Was the Messiah teaching hard? He was. He had. He had. His, he had. His, he had his foot on the on, on, on the on the pedal, and he had the pedal to the metal when he was talking to them, didn't he? If that's true, put the two. He was talking in a way that would rub. A natural person the wrong way. Listen to what I'm teaching. He was talking in a way that the person was saying, man, he kind of rough. They was talking rough too, though. But he definitely was matching them. He was at them, right? And it was clear that he was talking to Judah, what they call it in, in this vernacular, the Jews. Did y'all listen I pointed that out to point this out. <clears throat> 30 and first. As he spake these words, many believed on him. What you mean many believed on him? Watch this. 31. Then Yahushua said to those Jews which believed on him. What you mean Jews believed on him? Did you hear how tough he was talking? Did you hear how tough he was talking? But many of the Jews who he was talking tough to believed on him. Is y'all listening? Many of the Jews who he was talking tough to believed on him, Sean Kennedy. Is you listening? Can I, can I explain something to you? That um, the word John six sixty three. I, I quote this to y'all a lot, but it's it's the spirit that quickeneth. The spirit is the word. It says it in the same scripture, right? It's the spirit that quickeneth. It says the flesh profits nothing. Do you know how people get damaged and rejected when you're in the flesh? Because the Bible teaches the flesh profits nothing. There's nothing that the Most High talks about is for your flesh. It's the rejection of your flesh. It is the rejection of your Adam nature. The Most High rejects the way we've been living. It's rejected. It's not making it in the kingdom. It's disqualified. Yeah, we were born in sin. How we was living since birth is disqualified. Look at this wicked world and how sexually sick it is. How disrespectful it is. Did you see the Olympics? 
we dealing with some, some with some devils. And even the people that's complaining about how satanic these people is, they act just like them. They do their music. They make their movies. They, they participate in it. They screw them and fornicate and commit adultery too. They drunk and high and going to Vegas. And what they did in Vegas is supposed to stay in Vegas. Pot calling the, 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 the kettle black, the skillet calling the kettle black. Are you serious? The flesh profits nothing. We're being delivered from our wicked ways through the word. The point that I'm that the most high got me driving this morning is <clears throat> as tough as he was talking, those that are believers, when the word came to them, they personally admitted how they was living was wrong. That's what's condemned. It's been condemned. He just had mercy on them and didn't kill them yet. But, but, but the, the lifestyles were scandalous from the gate. It's just through his mercy he let us live to the point that now we get to hear the word and those that believe the word is going to repent and turn from their wicked ways. But it's already, it's all, it always was wrong. It always was wicked. It always was sinful. It always was low life and scandalous and demonic. But they switched. So when the word come battle, when the word come and it jump on your flesh, your lifestyle, your conduct. And you love the word, you'll endure it. Is y'all listening? You endure it. You'll endure it. Those that love him with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength, it's impossible to love him with all the, your heart, mind, soul, and strength and not love the word with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. So when the word come to correct you, even though it's cutting and hurting you in the flesh, you're going to endure it. Jasmine Cornejo, you're going to endure it if you love the word on that level. If it's true. Put a two. Can you see what I'm trying to show you? This is think. Think part five, y'all. This is think. <clears throat> some of the some of the Yahoo did, some of Judah was thinking appropriately. Are y'all listening? They was thinking appropriately. Though the word was whooping them, telling them you wrong. You're from beneath. You're not like me. Though the world was cutting them, accusing them of not being righteous, accusing them of being wrong, accusing them of having a form of yawliness and denying the power thereof, as the world was coming, they saw was crying out, it's true, it's true. I repent and I believe. While the others were saying, who the heck is you talking to? Don't you disrespect me. Who are you talking to? Because they're carnal. You know, carnal mind listening too. And the carnal mind has a certain response to the word. It'll start attacking who spoke the word. It'll start hating who spoke the word. Keep listening, y'all. He did have an ear to hear. Pull up a cheer. We in here, Liz. John 8 and 30. And he spake these words. John 8 and 30, y'all. And he spake these words. Many believed on him. Though he was talking tough. Because the most high ain't playing and we running out of time. This ain't no game. We all in on this one. I don't know how you take other things and how... Serious you are about other things, but this ain't nothing to play with. Ain't no game in this one. You with me, Victoria Jackson? You, you can't commit adultery and fornication on this one. You can't side with the devil and the most high both. 
you can't do what you want to do. Those that belong to Yah do what his words say do. Period. Even if the word comes against you. And I'm telling you right now, that's what the word come to do. It come to come against our sinful nature. That's it. If the relationship ain't, ain't, ain't yali, ain't holy, then don't do it. That's it. If you ain't supposed to be drinking, then don't drink it. If you ain't supposed to be smoking, then don't smoke. If you're supposed to show up, show up or blow up. If he tell you what to do, do it. If you don't do it and he correct you, you just correct it. But when you fleshly, you can't be corrected. You'll get mad. Then you're going to start talking about man all of a sudden. How many of y'all got, oh, that's just a man in your mouth now. <laughs> yeah. Just like them right here. We was, you bear witness of yourself. Who you think you are? They even asked, who you think you is? He said, I, I, I am who I told you from the beginning. I ain't changed. I read it to you. <clears throat> so, in the 31st verse, look what he said. He said, this said Yahushua unto the Jews which believed on him. If you continue in my word, just believing at the beginning like Catholicism teach, you believe and confess him as, as Lord, right? You saved. You got it locked in. That's what they say. No, 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 no. The word teaches, look at it, read it. 31st verse, John 8 and 31. If you continue in my word, you got to keep going. Because we just read in Matthew 13 that, 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 that both folks showed up that had the word in them, Edna Hogan. They both had the word in them. But there was one that came with something that they needed. And it was, I'm telling you what it is. It's the right state of mind towards the most high. They came with the right state of mind, not trying to pass it off on man like the rest of these religious jokers. They knew that the word that was coming came from the most high. And they had respect to the most high. So they bowed down and he added on to them, meaning he can correct them. He can change them. He can grow them. They're on one accord with his word and his spirit. But someone else came that had the word as well, but they didn't come with the right state of mind. They were growing at first until they showed up with the wrong state of mind. Then they was looking at the Messiah as a man. Just like when you come across someone that really preached the word for real. When, it's, when the word start whooping you, you start looking at, oh, he just a man. You try listening. Stay with me, and the Hogan. Shalom. Oh, I'm just a man now, huh? What, what made me just a man all of a sudden? When you've been growing, you've been learning, what happened now? I'm just a man all of a sudden. What happened? The word is coming against you, showing you you, and that's opposed to you admitting truth, you reject it. So now, now I'm a man. <laughs> I hear you. 31. Then Yahushua said to those Jews who believed on him, if you continue in my word, we got to continue. Then are you my disciples indeed. Now you can say, now he can say you're following me because it ain't just one day. It's every day. In fact, it's all the way into eternity. You'll never stop doing this for the rest of your eternal life. You'll always be following truth. You'll always be following the word. If it's true, put it to. And look, and look, and look what the 32nd verse say. And you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. You notice how he's talking to one demographic of people, but yet he's talking to two demographic of people. Funny how the same scorching hot lesson that he was teaching them repelled the majority pushed them away and pulled in the smaller group the same word he didn't speak two different words he didn't speak two different words at the parable that Mark recanted or Matthews recanted in the sower with the soul parable he didn't separate them the word did 
It was a spiritual separation. And in the spiritual separation, he was talking to a certain demographic in that one message and a certain demographic he wasn't. Just like in John 8. He was talking in a way that would go against the flesh heavily. It would make somebody in the flesh mad, want to start cussing, want to start fighting, want to jump up and say, who the heck you talking to and who do you think you are? Yeah, that's how he was preaching. But there was a certain demographic of people listening to the same message saying, I want to be saved. I believe. Y'all see that? I want to be saved. That same message. Not one, two different messages. One message. One message was repelling those that had not what it took to be in the presence of, of an of all-knowing, almighty Elohim. They got the wrong attitude. Man, puff, get the beating on it. Puff, get tough. Not, realize, not realizing it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of a living Elohim. Who the heck you think you is with your chest stuck out? When, when he's, he's the air you breathe and, you and now you want to reduce him to a four-footed beast onto the level of man. Romans, the first chapter, you know how people reduce the most high to man? Because the Most High uses man. He uses Moses as the first blueprint for what they call the church today. The first blueprint of what they call church happened with Moses, Moshe, Moses in the wilderness. That's the blueprint. And when the Most High dealt with what they call the church, which is really Israel. When Moshe deal with Israel, the Most High deal with him. He was in the mount, not Israel. He was in the mount. Gave him the word, and then he brought it down to the people. And when they didn't like the word, they started asking him, "Who you think you is? We we his chosen people too." Most High told him, "Get out the way! I'm finna kill them." <clears throat> Are y'all with me? Read. We in here, man. It's hot. So if you got on a jacket, take it off. This high, it's like a sauna. John 8 and 31. Is y'all listening? Yeah. They start talking against Moses. Now they got to add two with Moses. Now there's something wrong with him. Him and Aaron, you know, they, they going wrong. Yeah. They changed. No, you changed. I ain't changed. You did. Is y'all listening? And the word is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. <clears throat> if you agree, put the three. Yeah, if you agree, put the three. So 31 says, Didn't Yahushua said to those Jews which believed on him, he was talking tough, and some believers came forth. Yeah, those that understand, it's the, it's the spirit that quickeneth in the flesh profits nothing. The flesh profits nothing. Everyone that's in here is not a part of the ministry anyway. Did y'all know that? Everyone that's in here is not a part of the Most High's ministry. They do, they do their own thing. I see you, G-Man. They do what they want to do. They don't do what y'all say do. They, do what, they, they, they dance to, their own, to, to the beat of their own drum. You got some folks, that's just who they are. They're going to do it their way. Okay. Okay, do that then. But those that have, Listen, have what? The right state of mind. That humble himself. He said, he said he resists the proud, but he give grace unto the humble. And you need grace to be saved. And he gives it to those that bow down to him, that want him, that's willing to walk away from the flesh to serve him. Everyone is not willing to walk away from the flesh. Everyone is not willing to be uncomfortable. The world will push you the heights that you didn't plan on going. The world will, will order you to do things that you didn't plan on doing. 
And the only way you're going to do it is if you willingly go through the mind renewal process. Some people ain't with that. Some people be with it for a little while, and then they come before him with the wrong state of mind. Judas himself was able to hang with the Messiah and the other 11 until he had enough. And what, I'm going to tell you when he had enough. Judas had enough when uh, Mary broke that alabaster box because it was worth a lot of money. And that's when he made up his mind he was going to betray the Messiah because he said he thought that the Messiah came and was going to deliver Judah from the Romans. To this day, we still haven't been delivered from these people. They was dogging us out in Paris during the Olympics. And it's going to get worse with this election that's coming up. They're starting to show out on us. And it's going to get worse. But Judas thought that the time for the deliverance of, 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 of Judah was when the Messiah came. No, they misinterpreted the scripture. No, it wasn't time yet. We coming upon the time now. <clears throat> but it wasn't time then. And when he figured out that it wasn't time, since he was fleshly, he was offended by that. And then he was the money keeper too. And when he saw that he wasn't going to be able to make no money, with the Messiah, here it is. She didn't bust it open this perfume, which I could have made some money off that for myself. And when he saw that, he said, man, that's it. And then he turned on it. Then, then his heart was filled. So some people follow the Most High until it get financial or something. Until the word come and, and correct them. Now I'm a man. Oh, he ain't nothing but a man. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> then go find someone that ain't just a man. That's the ministry you should be with. Go somewhere where you can grow. Don't hit the dough. Or let the dough hit you on your way out. If you agree, put a three. Yeah. Go somewhere where you can cooperate and grow, where you can do the will of Yah, where you can be transformed by the renewing of your mind so you can be delivered from sin. Go do that. If this ain't the place, go find it. You with me, Danielle? Yeah, this ain't the place for you go. If you can't function and grow here, then go there. Real talk. Whole bunch of ministries. Find one that you can start living right. Since you can't live right in this one. Are you listening? <clears throat> so the 31st verse says, This said Yahushua to the Jews which believed him. He was talking tough. And some Jews still believe. Because the only way we're going to be saved is we got to rise to the occasion of being willing to go against our agenda for his. And everybody ain't willing to do that. We got to be willing to stop cussing, stop getting high and drunk, stop twerking, stop, you, you, you know what I'm saying? Stop uh, uh, living for the weekend or stop living for the flesh. Stop living to be flamboyant. And, and That's not what we live for anymore. When we was in the flesh, we did that. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't about that life no more. We repent it, yeah. And when you bring the right attitudes towards Yah, he going to grant you repentance. He going to give you the grace to reject this place. Stay with me. Hallelujah. Plenty of people out here growing beards. If, if you into that, you into that, you like the beards and the in the in the in the, the fringes. There's plenty of them. I ain't got a beard, and I got a hat on, <clears throat> and I don't wear fringes. I know the meaning of the fringes, and it was captured 
and fulfilled in thy word if I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. That's what the friend, the friends are supposed to remind you to keep the commandments. Well, I got the word in my heart. Minus the stone it was on. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. Yah sin and son in the likeness of sinful flesh. And for sin condemned sin in the flesh. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh. But after the spirit. I got that part. So the word that was on stone, the stone is gone. It's written on the tables of our heart. The hearts of the believer. If you agree, put a three. I'm finna get ready to go, y'all. Think P5. Listen. In 32nd verse, he then said to them, And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Who gonna know the truth? Those that think right. Yeah, those that think right, Thomas. Still, those that think right. You gotta think right. That's it. How you think? Word come against you? Think right. Be correctable, teachable. That's what we came here for, isn't it? Isn't the reason why we came? Is to be transformed by the renewing of our mind for our thinking to be changed? Isn't, isn't that why you're here? Because if not, you're in the wrong place. If you're not here to be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that's that's the business that the Most High is in. Because he definitely ain't accepting you the way you is. He said, come as you are, so he can transform you by the renewing of your mind. Oh, yeah. If you agree, put a three. You're here to be changed. Come as you are. He can't change you if you don't come as you are. But when you come as you are, he's going to change you. That's it. And I want him to change me. I'm begging him to. And I ain't leaving until he do. I'm not leaving until he bless me. I'm going to stay right here until he bless me. Until he transform me into his image. And then he's going to come get me and I'm going to live with him in eternity. And I ain't moving. Period. I ain't going nowhere. I don't want to cuss. I don't want to lie. I don't want to fornicate. I don't want to commit adultery. Is, some, is there some sexy folks out there? You better believe it is. And I don't want that none of them. I got my sexy good thing. Period. Is y'all listening? Taylor, I see you in here a long time, sis. Pull up a chair. We in here. I, I, I don't want to be a thug no more. I don't want to. I don't want to fight no more. All I used to do is fight. I don't want to fight no more. Bad attitude. I don't want it. I want to be a son. That's good, Victoria. We don't do nothing. Victoria said, I don't want to do nothing against the Almighty Yahuwah. Yeah, we, we need him too. Not only is he uh, worth loving, not only is he worthy, but he's worth it. Anything we go through. And um, I, once you get to know him, you don't want to go against him. And then a part of me is so desperate for him. I, I, I feel sorry for those that sell him out, that turn on him, they carnal mind, get the best of them. You notice how the Bible teaches money is a, is a God and it calls it mammon, but it's a deity, it's a God. And in a master, and then he said, you can't serve two masters. And then it said, you can't serve God and mammon. We're talking about money. You can't do, it, it's a God and people will turn on you for money. Yeah. Act like it's you. The most high the one said give. I don't know if y'all knew that, but it's the most high to teach that. 
I didn't make that up. Y'all did. Period. And some folks ain't going to do it. Not for y'all. They'll do it for, to floss. But not for y'all. Kingdom building? No. They'll run around and say, oh, the gospel is free. You's a joker. <laughs> you funny, huh? <laughs> All them scriptures that teach. Did you know the gospel is so expensive? You know how much it costs? Everything you got. The whole you. You got to lay down your whole entire life. You've been bought with a price and your life is no longer your own. <laughs> Joke is that they ain't doing nothing for y'all is the ones that say, oh, the gospel is free. Okay. Whatever you say, I guess, right? I hear you. Repent. Because in my closing, think right. I'm telling you that. You, for your good, think right. You're thinking wrong. And you're going to think different when the economy collapses. When, when, when these folks finish turning on Judah and Israel and those that love the Most High and love Judah and Israel that join the family, these people are going to turn on, on us. And they're going to collapse the economy. And, and they're going to solidify the furtherance of the new world they created. And the new world they created is minus Yah and his children. Then you're going to understand. You shouldn't have been worshiping money and yourself in the first place. Most High is trying to deliver you from you. You can't see that? You should not be doing anything that's wicked. You shouldn't be promoting it. You shouldn't be producing it. You shouldn't even be entertained by it. It's wicked. Come out from among them and be separate. And he said, and I will receive you. Can I tell the truth, Thomas Steele? Say no, if, ain't nothing iffy. The iffy part is folks trying to serve two masters. They want their cake and eat it too. You can't do it. You want to pick a side. <sighs> Yeah, that's it. You want a relationship that bad? Then, then, then you made your choice. You want some money that bad? Then you made your choice. As for me and my house, we're going to serve you who? How about you? If you agree, put a three. You serving, you, 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 you serving the most high. Put a three if that's you. Also, put a four if you're willing to do what it takes to serve him. Yeah, all hands on deck for kingdom building. If you're ready to repent, put a four in here. Put a four in here if you're willing to do what it takes. It's easy to put a three and walk away. How about living it? How about denying yourself? How about being transformed by the renewing of your mind? How about participating? How about that? Because that's what it takes. Most high ain't interested in no looky lose. He ain't even talking to them. He talking to them in parables. Didn't he say it? The ones that showed up is the ones he said is given only you to know the mystery. But to them it ain't given. <laughs> it's given only you to know the mystery of the kingdom. He said, but to them Th that are without, without what? The right state of mind. I surrender all is the only acceptable state of mind. The way you think. I surrender all. All to thee, all to thee. My blessed Messiah. I surrender all. Put five on it. Let's pray. <clears throat> Spirit of living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to be in your presence even once again with the heart and spirit of repentance. We surrender to you. Deliver us from even ourselves. Help us, keep us, 
transform us by the renewing of our mind because we want to prove what's good acceptable in your perfect will in these last and evil days deliver me from me and i will teach transgressors your ways i will teach the sinners about your about your ruah about your about your eternal life about your transformation Dispatch your angel texting about your children and keep us Keep us. And we'll be careful to give you the praise and the honor, not only now, but forever. In the majesty of name, Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. And oh, man. I'm with you too, uh, Victoria. Victoria, we all in this together, sis. May the most high keep us all. Hallelujah. I pray that everybody obey what the most high saying. You got something out the lesson. Uh huh. I pray. I pray. All right, y'all. Continue to pray for one another. Pray for those who are sick in their bodies. Pray for those who are spiritually sick that they repent before it's everlasting too late. All right, y'all. We have in service over at Alameda Beach on this Shabbat at eleven thirty, Washington Park in Alameda, on Central Street. I posted it on my page. Those of you that can show up, do that. And again, we'll be launching physically, uh, man to man. Um, uh, this 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 coming Wednesday, so prepare, uh, men. We need to get together and come together and, and 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 start dealing with our families, save our families. Is that all right? Even our communities, we need to stand up for the Most High. Those of you that want to participate in man to man ministry, you're a man and want to go higher in Him. Come together as men. Y'all get at me. I'll be contacting some of y'all to see if you want to participate in that ministry. Is that all right? Y'all want to talk about the lesson some more? All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Is that okay? All right, y'all be baruching.